Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of January. So January 2021. What do we have for Gemini for January 2021? Be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. So this is about being authentic in the month of January. Express your feelings, your true feelings. Okay? So you're going to need to be authentic in January. Be authentic to your own truth. You will need to express your feelings. And I think you're going to be doing that. You do. So what do we have for Gemini for February? February, not February, January. What do we have for January for Gemini? Ooh, this is the tower. This is the tower. So you're going to experience a tower moment. You will be, be, be rebuilding. Maybe you experience the tower in January and you rebuild in February. I don't know. But the tower is about rebuilding after there's some sort of destruction. So you may, and the destruction could be happening way before January. And in January is your time of rebuilding a new foundation. Okay. You're going to be building from the ground up, starting over, okay? Um, make sure that when you are rebuilding, you're rebuilding it your way. Make sure you're paying attention to what you want during this time. You are definitely going to be starting over because we have the fool on the bottom. So that is starting fresh, and that is starting fresh as well. So you are definitely, definitely going to be starting over in January. You're going to be building from scratch, starting from scratch. Um, you may even be moving. You may be building in a new place, you know, a uh, new land, a new, new territory, okay? Because wherever you are at, it wasn't stable, obviously, when you get the tower card. So then you have to rebuild someplace else. So you will be rebuilding a foundation someplace else. Somehow. Now, when you're rebuilding a foundation, your fa foundations can be in many different areas. Could be work, could be home, could be relationship, it could be within your, within your uh, physical structure. You're going to be rebuilding um, a structure, okay? Whether it's a home or a job or yourself, okay? Make sure you are following your heart. You're being authentic to what you want and who you are during this process. Um, Wheel of Fortune. This is positive change. This is good luck. This is a reward. So whatever is happening it is definitely destined. It is meant to be. This is good fortune. Something good coming to you. Um, positive change. So whatever is happening, it is positive. Okay. This is a cycle that has come to an end and it has come to an end for a reason because you are meant to be authentic to who you are. I mean, it's clear. It's clear. And perhaps where you are at, it wasn't authentic. It wasn't who you are. It wasn't who you want to be at this time in your life. So I feel like you are... You're going to find yourself in the right place and you're going to be real rebuilding from the ground up. And it's very fortunate. Now, the, the Wheel of Fortune, it's, I mean, you may have, uh, you've obviously ended a cycle in your life. Um, something that was a big uh, chapter for you that has come to an end. Now you're, you are beginning a new chapter. The Hierophant reversed. And the Seven of Pentacles. Now, this is about investment, relocation. Some of you are relocating. You're relocating. You may have been under some sort of social pressure, or you may have been controlled by somebody, controlled by a father figure, or somebody that questions their authority, somebody that is very not spiritual, very controlling. Um, 
very egotistical and you, there may be some embarrassment here you may be embarrassed maybe you were in a commitment where you were with somebody that really wasn't committed and that's an, and you're feeling disgraced or something like that um now you are thinking about your next move you're thinking about uh the next uh what your next step should be I feel like you are investing in in uh, relocation or something like that, but this this is uh, not listening to any advice, not listening to your gut. You need to really be careful of social pressure. Make sure you're being authentic. That's why this is here. Be authentic to what you want. It doesn't matter what everybody else wants. Okay. Some of you may be in a commitment that you're staying in. I don't know if it's a marriage or whatnot because, you know, it fits what your family wants or it fits what, you know, society thinks you should have. Be real. Be real. Um, Three of Cups. Knight of Cups reversed. Four of Swords reversed. Ace of Cups reversed. So it feels like this month, it's going to be a very emotional month. Okay, it's going to be emotional. There could be some tears. Some tears, you may be crying. You may find yourself crying. You may find yourself very emotional because you have a change. This is a positive change, but change is still difficult. Okay, I feel as though it's going to be very emotional. I think you're, there's some sort of separation here. Maybe you're set, you're leaving somebody behind. You know, you're moving, you're leaving somebody behind. Um, I feel as though um, you're fed up. I feel like there's somebody, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, this is exhausted, frustrated, um, health issues. You may be experiencing, experiencing some health issues this month or somebody that you're dealing with is experiencing some health issues this month. I feel as though um, there, you, you may be dealing with somebody that doesn't face confrontation very well, that is very unrealistic, that um, is obsessional. This person may be a womanizer. They may be a heartbreaker. There's, this is like unrequited love. You may find out that whoever you are talking to or dealing with or were, were dealing with is in a third party. They're, they're socializing and partying and having fun with somebody else. Maybe that's what this is. Doesn't have to be. Okay. I do feel like it's very emotional though. I feel like it's a very emotional month because you're thinking about your future. You're thinking about relocating. Um, and I think that you're tired. I think that you're extremely tired of, of maybe you're tired of the social scene. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're tired of your family or you're tired of, the, of your friends or you're tired of of something. You are definitely tired of something. I feel like maybe you're in an unrequited love situation. Could be. It doesn't have to be with a lover either. It could be with a family member where there's lack of reciprocation or somebody's overdoing it and it's affecting you in some way. It could be a family member, like I said, and it just makes you sad because I do feel some sort of sadness. But I do see positive change coming for you. I feel like you are spinning the wheel. I feel like you are spinning the wheel because you're being authentic to who you are. I feel like you're in some sort of relationship with somebody that is um, draining you. It feels like this person is draining you. And you've been thinking about how you're going to get out of this situation for some time. I think this is the month where you get out of it. Where this cycle of being trapped in this loveless situation or lack of reciprocation situation or whatever it is i feel like you break out of it you break out of this situation somehow i don't know how though um page of pentacles new enterprise a new enterprise a new door is opening you may be moving and i think i've said that I think I've said that already it, or that person may be moving maybe they're going to school or they're going away or traveling but this is a new enterprise it's a new door learning new skills doing new things stepping into unknown ter territory that's what I think you're going to be doing I think you're finding your backbone to do the right thing for you this month I do I feel like you you've been uh
wanting to rebuild the foundation someplace else for some time now. And I think that now you've done your investigation, you've put in some sort of effort, and you're ready to go. I feel like you're ready to go. I feel like um, you've done your homework, per se. Um, this is a time to celebrate. I think that you will be celebrating a new beginning this month. Something very fortunate is coming your way. Um, but I also feel like you could be held back by somebody else. I think, think there is somebody else in your life that may use emotional blackmail on you. They may try to make you feel guilty. You know, they try to make you feel bad for following your heart, for doing what, what's right for you. But I feel like you need to do what's right for you. You need to put yourself first at this time. So I think you're going to be thinking about whether you are going to be authentic to you or you're going to be authentic to this other person. So that's what this month is about. I think that you are definitely exhausted. This person has drained you. And, you know, you're ready. You're ready. I think that you're ready to... Um, Change. It's like this is not how the story ends. I'm not going to live like this. I'm not going to live in this predicament forever. And I feel like it, because you take on that stance, you know, and the universe reacts to that, the re reacts to your vibration. So I do feel like it's sad. It's like it's bittersweet. I think it's it's a it's a bittersweet. Um, transformation per se or change um page of cups reversed the emperor the emperor you could be dealing with the aries you could be dealing with the pisces cancer scorpio um taurus virgo capricorn um you could be dealing with a taurus again i feel like you have been under somebody's control this person has been controlling you they are um Very, I can't think of the word other than controlling, very controlling, very much like to be the boss, like to be in charge, like to have everything their way. And I think it's time for you to take charge. I think it's for you to uh, show them that they aren't your boss, that you're, your, you're the boss. You're the boss of yourself, okay? I think you're in an unrequited love situation with somebody who... You know, maybe you don't love them or they don't love you or whatever the case is. They're definitely unrequited love. I feel like uh, it's time for you to go. It is definitely time for you to go. And I think that you have a new opportunity that is presented to you this month that gives you the uh, opportunity that you've been working on. It's like now you, you wanted this opportunity. Here it is. This is your opportunity. This is your opportunity to start over someplace else. Okay? So, I think whoever you are dealing with is receiving some poor advice, maybe from their friends. You know? They may get a poor advice from their friends and, you know, it's affecting you in some way. This person may not be very spiritual. They may think that they are, but they're not. You know, they may think that they're they're spiritual, but when they may go on like social media and post things on social media about your relationship, and that's not somebody that is very spiritual. Somebody that is spiritual keeps things to themselves. You know, doesn't post about their social life on social media. So you, you may be dealing with a person that needs constant uh, attention from others. That is, this person is not very spiritual, but they may say that they are. Maybe they're developing spiritually and they haven't learned that lesson yet. I don't know. I think that you're dealing with somebody who um, probably doesn't love you or they they don't know how to express emotions i mean ace of cups reverse knight of cups reverse page of cups reverse or you don't or there's lack of love here put it that way okay this is like maybe it's just providing a roof maybe there's just a roof you know what i mean that's the only reason for the relationship is because of the roof over the head um anyhow i i feel like you are going to be taking charge of your life and um moving i see i see moving i do and there's moving ten of pentacles reverses is a change in residence okay 
for some of you. I feel like you may have some short-lived success with somebody. Maybe they're, they're, I mean, the Ten of Pentacles reverse can be a huge loss, okay? It's, it's illegal dealings. It is family fights. It's bad housekeeping. It's fighting over money. It's marrying for money. It's, it's definitely an unstable uh, business or home life in which you are engaged in. But I feel like it's over. I feel like this month you are pushed in a new direction. It's like the wheel spins you out of this loveless situation because you are given an opportunity to step into new a new space. You are you are given the opportunity. And I feel like you put work into it. It's like you were looking for it. Now the opportunity is right there in front of you. You were looking for the opportunity. You may have had some doubts or whatnot. But here it is. Now Now the opportunity is available for you to get out of this situation with whoever this person is that is very uh, controlling of you. This person is definitely uh, controlling. That's the best way to say it. Um, I do feel like there's a relationship problems here, okay? There is with the Hierophant reversed and all these cups reversed. There's there's like relationship problems. And I feel like you, you maybe, you know, you were choosing not to see it. Or you were trying to make something work. Choosing to, you know, pretend that everything was okay. Everything is not okay. It's not okay. So I feel like it, this is a month where you are... Going, I mean, if you think about the tower, it says rebuild because they want to make this deck all very positive, okay? But the tower is a major life change. It is a disruption, okay? It's a major disruption. It's a disturbance. So you are going to experience or you have experienced a moment, a fated moment that changes everything. Whether you've experienced it yet or you're going to experience. This is where the light gets shed, on a false sense of security that either you or somebody you've been living with you know has been staying in this isn't this isn't stable it's not secure it's not real it's not safe it's not comfortable and it's time for time to go okay so i feel like this month you're going to be dealing with that false sense of security and you're going to be authentic and you're going to be real and you're going to be somebody's changing residences Good luck.